I mean, if, if, <laughs> if men rented cars and suits to make themselves look much richer uh, every single day, and there were magazines, how to fake wealth for the ladies, how to fake having more resources than you have for the ladies. Here's a fake six pack. You know, here's something that you can get that you can tie. Here's some Norga hide horse hair that you can lash and tie around your, so that you squish in your man belly. You know, here's how to fake hair for the ladies. Here's how to fake you. Here's how to fake that you have a nice car. Here's how to fake that you are interested in her. Use this expression when she's talking to pretend that you're interested. Like if, if everything in every single conceivable men's magazine was here's how to bullshit and lie and manipulate women women would be like well that's shitty isn't it <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you guys to the point where you can't even get anything straight where you're showing up looking like some giant vat of cream landed in some giant vat of money and uh, you were supposed to actually believe this. I mean, here's how to fake that you have any assets whatsoever. You may live in a shoebox, but here's how to make, her, make it look like you're living in some Bel Air condo. And it's like if every single thing in men's magazines was how to lie to women, oh my God, women would be looking at men going like, what is the matter with you? Why can't you just tell the truth? Why? I mean, it's just, it's just madness. What the hell is wrong? And so this men look at these like men with any discernment. We look at these magazines. You go to the grocery store. Look at these magazines. It's like, here's how to lie to men. <laughs> lie to men. Fake stuff with men. Your nails aren't big enough. Here's you need nails that allows you to gouge out the back of Tutankhamun's brainstem. If you if you go in through the eyeballs, that's what you like. You need nails that you can like climb trees and dig for roots and berries and peel carrots from four feet away. That's the kinds of nails you need. So nails that if you fall off a building, you can flap and achieve some semi semblance of air motion. Those are the nails you need. Longer lashes. You need longer lashes. You need you need neoteny style shoes that make you so wobbly that men feel like pedophiles for trying to pick you up. Oh, are you having trouble walking there, honey? because you're three or two? Wow, you're sexy. <laughs> Here's how to make your eyeballs look huge, like you're 12, or that girl from Modern Family, <laughs> or Anne Hathaway, whether you're at the edge of the universe or not, that woman is permanently startled. I don't know if she's got little toothpicks in there or what, but it's just bizarre. I mean, because this is what it looks like. Women's media as a whole is, <laughs> here's how to lie to men. <laughs> Get yourself some Spanx. Don't do any sit-ups. Get yourself some Spanx. Uh, here's how to lie to men and here's how to injure yourself with the occasional exercise routine that's far too difficult and will never stick. But it's just lie, lie, lie. Manipulate, manipulate. Lie, lie, lie. Fool them, fool them, fool them. It's like, what the hell is wrong with you women that you can't just be who you are and think that men might possibly like you for looking like you, right? <laughs> looking like you. It's like, I don't know. We did just have a baby. That baby is adorable, but without makeup, on the baby? I don't think we're going to keep it. I mean, really, it's just not cute enough. Um, <laughs> and so hairless. Can we get uh, hair transplants, my armpit hair to that baby's forehead? Because it just looks all kind of like Donald Trump in a windstorm over there. I mean, just stop lying. Stop being addicted to this lying to men at all times. Fake them. Fake boobs. <laughs> That's not your real hair. That's not your real boobs. Black women's hair doesn't look like that. It doesn't. I was there in the 70s. I saw afros so big that the woman had to take a run at anything that wasn't a double door propped open. <sighs> anyway. No, that's not your real hair color. Come on. You're over 40. If there's no gray in there, it's bullshit. Bullshit. Lies. 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 All of it lies. Anyway. And, and, and the other thing, too, is that women, oh, man, women have the temerity to be upset with pickup artists. They're manipulative. <laughs> really? Really? Oh my God, they're manipulative. You mean they're not being forthright and honest about who they are and what they look like and what resources and ask? Sometimes they try to pretend that they have more money than they do. Sometimes you all try to pretend that you're a little less road-worn than you actually are. I mean, some women is like, I've never seen the sun. This is what an eight-year-old vampire looks like. It's like, nope, that's what polyfiller looks like. The wall may look smooth, but the house is about to fall down. You're not fooling anyone with that stuff. And uh, let's not even get started. It's like, I don't, if you were actually having an orgasm in front of me, your lips would not be that red, right? The only time that your lips should look that red is if you have been French kissing somebody 
who just had a tooth removed. That is the only way that your lips should ever look that red. That is not a human color. I don't like colors not found in nature in my food or on my women. That is not a natural color. There is no red in the world that is like that unless you're looking at the esophagus of a vampire in full feed mode. So it's just, uh, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe if you just bit off Evander Holyfield's ear, that would be the color of your lips. But I'm not sure that Mike Tyson and lipstick is an image anybody uh, want us to have. Um, maybe, maybe if you are very much into fava beans with a, uh, a white wine sauce, uh, you would have lips of that particular color. But unless you're actually bleeding out from the gums, this should not be your, your color. And there's no way that anybody who's not punched uh, currently should have eyes, uh, even remotely, that kind of black violet -y color that goes on there. It's just bizarre. And yes, 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 eyebrows can be a little bit large. It's okay. If you have these weird little laser eyebrows, nature put eyebrows there for one reason, to make sweat not go into your eyeballs. If you have eyebrows like that, you're basically taking a shower with your mouth open trying not to drink anything. So anyway, I could uh, go on and on, but uh, <laughs> that may be stuff to focus on a little more than uh, the odd uh, little bit of uh, manipulation that goes on ab advertising.